Wow, I almost don't believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NB Edits. We made it. We are absolutely roughing it up here. We are in a backwoods lake up in northern Wisconsin, a lake that is very hard to get to, loaded with largemouth bass, crappie, and bluegill. And today, Nick and I are just uh, enjoying the evening. Nobody out here whatsoever. Almost no way of even getting out here. It's bad, guys. Like, it's absolutely rough. But it's going to be a beautiful evening of fishing. We got nice warm temps, calm day. We got the kayak with us, and we are going to be hammering some fish. What's going on, guys? So, very surprised that I was actually able to even get my truck back to this lake. Now, the thing with this lake is that this pretty much this goes back to my roots now i used to fish this lake back when i was a little kid uh, with my dad this was the only lake we would go to and mainly uh, that was because this lake is loaded with fish like brandon was saying so my dad would take me here as you know as soon as i could walk pretty much and he would take me here just for non-stop action which definitely got me into fishing i will say so we decided to come back we used to fish this lake a lot actually for challenges but like i said surprise to get the truck back here brandon if you pan down to my feet you can see that i am wearing well something i don't normally wear now the reason i am wearing these is because we weren't sure if we were going to be able to get the truck back here now to get to this spot you have to be able well for sure four wheel drive there's a lot of water there's a lot of rocks it's unpaved it's pretty much like a logging trail so uh we planned on walking now what i am wearing today let's see prop these bad boys up model them for you these are the tide we deck boots see it tide we logo right here now what is cool about these are that they are 100 percent waterproof so if you come in contact with mud or puddles or launching say a kayak uh your feet will not get wet they're breathable so obviously right now it's like 80 degrees and yeah, my feet aren't sweating so that's why i'm wearing these if you guys would like to check these out these tied wee boots these sexy little things we'll leave a link down in the description please make sure to check them out i think they start at like 49.99 is that right brandon i believe so so obviously these things are going to be a lot cheaper than like say if you were to step up to like a sims i'm not even sure what those cost but you would probably have to at least fork up a hundred dollars so there is that and uh yeah, so we're gonna use them, hopefully to launch the boat. I have noticed since we've been here um, that there is a giant tree uh, by the launch. I mean, if we walk down here real quick, this is normally where you would launch your boat, which really isn't much of a launch because you can't really, you can't take a big boat back here. But uh, yeah, there's a giant tree here. This is good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's the lake. There's the launch. Uh, we're gonna have to go around that, but um, pretty much everything that you can see right now in frame is the entire lake. There is like one little sliver of like a bay, but very small lake and yeah, loaded with fish. So I'm gonna shut up, stop talking. We're gonna grab the kayak and we're gonna get the fish. Alrighty, well, just got out here, had a little bit of trouble at the old landing. You see, this is a paddle, and this is a broken paddle. That's what we like. You don't need like a, a motor or a battery, you just need a paddle, and we have one, not two. Unfortunately, we broke one of the sides, but uh, yeah, we made it out here, and uh, this is beautiful, this is perfect, it's calm. We got a little bit of a wind, but that's okay because this is a very clear lake. So a little bit of chop might be able to hide us in the old yak a little bit. So we're gonna go out and uh, see if we can catch some fish. Let's go ahead and show you guys what we're gonna be using today. Right now, I've just got a small jig. I believe this is from Northland Tackle with a little spinner, a little spoon on there. And I've got that tipped with a paddle tail. That is the mini slayer. We got that from Frostbite absolutely great here up in the north woods these clear lakes they just hammer it the panfish love it bass crappie 
bluegill. Wow, that was a very large splash behind us. So right now, just working a weed edge. As you can tell, we've got a ton of lily pads here. And we're basically just coming around that. And I'm already hooked up. Look at that. It's that simple. First cast. Oh boy. Holy. What do we have here? A little crappie. As I was saying, the old mini slayer getting her done. They love this plastic up here. Beautiful colors to these fish. Just a little guy. Probably about a six, seven inch crappie. Nothing too crazy, but... Yeah, this is all we're gonna be doing. There are certain areas that these fish definitely like more. So we're gonna be sticking to some structure. We've got a lot of wood and a lot of weeds. And if we can kind of sit right on the edge of both of those, that's where a lot of these fish like to sit with these warmer temps. They're in the shallows and we're gonna just start hammering them. So let's see what we can get into. All right, Nick set the big camera down. We got the old GoPros rolling. Now it's time to see who's gonna catch more fish today. Oh, missed one or what? Yeah, I did. Not that time. Oh. oh, what the heck. There we go. Just a little one. Just a wee little guy. Oh, hello. Oh, maybe maybe not little. Maybe he was just swimming with me. Okay, that's a, that's a rather that's nice... Coffee. Yeah, that's a rather nice bluegill. Wow, look at that. We'll take that all day. That's gotta be a little over eight, eight and a half, maybe nine. It's a nice fish. All right, well, see you later, buddy. Peace. Well, as you can tell, Brian and I are both standing in this thing. <laughs> a little, little shaky. Oh, I just missed one. They're definitely there by that tree. Or a bass. I'm also fighting it on ultralight, so it's a bass. Yes, sir. First fish for me, small bass. Ugh. See what else lives on this weed line. And it is the targeted species. Well, my first crappie. Nothing too big, but it uh, didn't take too long. Brandon and I doubled up. Let's see if we can get some a little bit bigger. There's a fish. What do we got? Looks like a crappie. There we go. A little bit better of a crappie. Probably still only like nine inches or so, but we are catching them. That is for sure. But it is like midday right now. Sun is super high. Another one. Another little crappie. It's almost every cast right now, which is what we like to see. Like for sure crappie on that cast. There we go. Yep, for sure crappie. Not bad. Not bad. Every cast right now. So what we're doing, is we both want to stand obviously i'm standing right now but it's not very sturdy when we both stand and standing is nice because one it's better for filming and two it's easier to fish so we're gonna go to shore take these seats out and uh, we're both gonna come back out here and absolutely destroy some crappies Right. 
we go. Yaks on shore right now. Took the seats off. Now we got plenty of room. Just a big floating canoe. <laughs> Who needs seats, right? Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at us. This is way better. Oh, the broken paddle. <laughs> Works good for pushing off. That is true. He meant to break it. Sure. Ooh, a little it's tippy, huh? Still not great. <laughs> All right, well, we're heading back out there. We're going to see if we can get hooked up with something a little bit bigger. Whoa. <laughs> Hit me on the backswing. I like it. <laughs> Flimsy rod. Is it a better fish? It's a bluegill. And it's definitely a decent bluegill. Right, thanks. I was gonna say that thing was fighting me a little harder than the crappies, which of course you guys go after big bluegill, those things do fight tremendous. Sometimes when you get them to that like 10 or 11, I swear to God, sometimes you think you have like a bass on. They just hit it so hard. That's probably like a eight inch or so. Beautiful bluegill. Nothing too crazy, but like I was saying in the beginning, this, this brings you back to where you started it all. And anyway, we do not do this a, a ton. And uh, it's, it's fun. Lately we've been taking the big boat and to just, well, pretty much in a canoe at this point. Casting, going for some panfish, nothing better. Right there. Doubles. Doubles. Get her always quick. Cast her back. School. Mega. Mega school. Hey, calm down, buddy. Trying to help you out here. Right oh. by the boat. That's a little better. Right next to the boat. This is probably the biggest one of the day. And we're definitely finding them now. Brandon just. Hooked up again, this is like the fifth crappie in a row, but this, if I was keeping a crappie, this would probably be the size that I'd be going for. That like 10 inch range, which is a perfect eater. Enough meat off of them, but not a pain in the ass to clean. Wow, aggressive. Slammed it. Another decent one, probably closer to that other one that I just caught. Just right freaking there. This is fun. Doubles! That is that a crappie? I think so. That is a nicer crappie right there. There you go. Good. Got into a little bit nicer one there. Again, right around the same size as Nick had, probably about that 10, 10 and a half inch range. If we were keeping them, this would be a good one to keep it on. Came up and crushed it. Whoop, come here, buddy. Go ahead and get the hook out of there. Comes out just like so. Well, like I said, another nice one. Go ahead and get this one back, but decent one, probably my best of the day so far. I would say Nick's was maybe just a touch better, but nice fish. Well, we're gonna see if we can catch a few more here. Brandon's GoPro ended up dying. He also doesn't have a bait. And yeah, so that's kind of where we're at there. <laughs> so I'm the only one fishing. Ah, sun is getting lower, but we do have like a, I don't know, 20 some minute drive to the next lake. And we want to try to get there during the low light period because, oh, there's one. And I lost him. All right, scratch that. Try it again. For sure, fish right there. Let's see. One Mississippi. That's all it takes. Yeah, that's all it takes. One Mississippi. You don't even have to jig these things. There's just crappie everywhere. A little bit better. Nothing too crazy. 
but we came well we always come to catch a giant but the real goal was to come here and just kind of relax and go back to our roots and uh just go pan fishing and catch some fish and we definitely accomplished that goal yeah i mean if we really wanted to we could have caught a fish i feel like on every cast just about yeah absolutely insane nothing huge but we did catch a few nice crappies that one you know probably around that nine inch mark or so but overall pretty fun day for some reason it is extremely hard to quit i just told myself that was going to be the last but here i go it's kind of really addicting well, one mississippi one mississippi you know the rule okay this is the last fish i'm done after this one another crappie i already know like i was saying i'd be able to catch another one but that is it Brandon doesn't have a lure. We gotta go get our seats and uh, we're gonna see you guys back at the landing. Oh. Wow. Oh. Made her back. That was fun. Turns out having one side of a canoe paddle is not fun um yeah especially with two of us um you guys are probably we definitely like blank this but you guys are probably confused on how we even have two people in a kayak and i don't think we actually showed what we have for kayaks we do have two um but we don't have brandon's with us so we just took mine but if i turn it around this is a new canoe frontier 12 this is actually made in wisconsin and uh this thing is a freaking it's a unit. I mean, obviously we got two swivel seats, 360 all the way around. You can place them anywhere along this. And uh, with the both of us, you saw us take both of these out. So we were able to stand in them and it worked really good. I thought. Yeah, basically just a giant paddle board, except even less tippy. Well, this is what we had to uh, deal with considering the landing now has a tree on it. As you can tell, we got a muddy, boggy, dirty mess, but the old Tide Wee boots came in clutch today. We're not absolutely soaked, so we love that. But again, guys, we just wanted to get out here today and just catch some fish, and we absolutely did that. We caught a ton of crappies, a couple bluegills, a couple bass. Had a lot of fun. It was very relaxing and peaceful. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure to slap that thumbs up button for us. We would greatly appreciate that. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Also, leave a comment down below for us as to what you thought. If you guys want to see more pan fishing, more bass fishing, more episodes of us out in the kayak, it's always fun getting out here and just doing something different. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. We'll see you on the next one. Tight Lines from NBS.